We're gonna weigh the anchor. I'm gonna bring it back up. First thing we need to do is we need to pull up the anchor road uh, and be able to take the harness off. So right now, this road is taking no pressure whatsoever, the chain. Uh, and we'll pull it up, like I said, we'll take the harness off and then we'll pull the anchor up. Uh, and, and that way we won't put any pressure on this windlass because we'll be able to power the boat forward with the remote as well as bringing up the anchor at the same time and we can control it all from the bow. Nice sunny day like today with no wind, that's not that big of a feat, but when things are gross or the anchorage is tight, uh, you know, all those things, all those variables that come into boating, this really makes a huge difference when you're weighing anchor. So, let's get to it. Join us on the Elliott as we realize our five-year plan with the kids. Grown up, moved out, graduated from college. We take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. Too fancy of a shirt. I was in a meeting this morning. Uh, should change your shirt. I should. I'm not gonna. By the way, the jury is out whether or not I like the Dyneema uh, harness for the for the chain, or whether I'd rather just do a hook. I gotta be honest with you. When things get uh, kind of sporty out and the weather sucks. Being able to get this off takes time, and I think I'd rather just have a hook. The easy part is taking up the harness. Uh, all you have to do is untie it from one cleat and, well, and the other cleat, and lay it on the bow and let it dry out. This'll be interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, right. starting to load. We don't want to overload the windlass. So we are sitting basically on top. There we go. And now we'll just power the boat back. So as we do this, our scope is one to one. We're sitting right over the anchor. So the anchor has no leverage. The boat has all the leverage. It's very light load on the windlass and we're just backing up now because we are free. So, I'm able to keep an eye out, back around me, make sure I'm not getting on anybody. And we can bring it up. Now, I don't have to worry about it. Is it coming up? Am I gonna smack the bow? I know exactly where the anchor is, and I'm controlling the boat. So we have a, just a touch of mud, and what we're gonna do is we'll just hose this off. 
because we have all this nice water pressure, all that mud is coming right off out of the shovel. Now we put our safety on, so we don't have to worry about the windlass running on us and the anchor dropping down into our running gear while we're running the boat. That would be tragic. All done. Now we'll just take our anchor harness, we'll dry it out because we don't want to put it in a bag and let it rot, and we'll head out. But uh, right now, like I said, this was really for the locks, for greater control for us as well as just make it easier at docking in tight situations, but I'll be honest with you, added bonus. And check it out, you can blow the horn with it.